when Kanye's third album, Graduation, was due to come out a week after my third album, Curtis. When I saw that the dates were so close to each other, I realized we had a chance to do something special by turning our releases into a head-to-head competition. Neither of us were treating it like a stunt. Both of us were playing to win. Of course, he did beat me, but what the public couldn't see was that I did still earn a major victory. The truth was, by the time Curtis was ready to drop, Interscope was already starting to pull back from me. I was in agreement with them financially, as my first two albums had sold a combined 20 million albums. But despite that success, it was still to their discretion whether to continue spending marketing dollars on me. Despite all my success, they decided to slow down the cash flow. Even more damaging than holding back on the marketing dollars, they were undercutting my promotional strategy for the album. My plan had been to build up a street buzz with a song straight to the bank, which spoke to my core audience. Once that song was bubbling a bit, my idea was to release Amusement Park that had more of a pop feel. Get your core audience engaged first, and then drop something for a wider audience. 